Hey Taurus, what's up? What's up? What's up? This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading for holiday love. Um, feel free to swap around the characters. I am going to do a different kind of spread today uh, just to get to the heart of some things. See what's coming toward you in terms of love this holiday season. Feel free to swap around the characters if that's what works for the story, right? Because it's a general read, so understand that that is a possibility. And I could be talking to a cross watcher even, so, you know. <laughs> don't try to shoehorn yourself into every reading that's it's not really meant for that so if this doesn't resonate with you check out your moon rising or venus sign all right that's the fun part <laughs> all right let's see what's going on here for you taurus Woo. okay all right very cool we're in your Taurus full moon energy right the manifesting time so if you have if you have done a good job of manifesting Buy the book. That feels pretty good. Oh, the fates. So this card is an 11 card, which is a power card. The buy the book piece, I do feel is like in alignment with your energy of I expect it to go a certain way and it's going to go a certain way, right? And that is because you have manifested precisely what you're looking for. So the fates coming... That's even like a little, a little pachyderm family, a little elephant family. So fated, fated um, stability. I feel like that is what you have manifested, and you know that is your energy, Taurus, as a, as a, as a rule. It is about having it be very uh, stable this relationship or this situation getting more familial, getting more, this person may meet your family this year. This is, uh, could be a thing that's moving from one level to another, or this person feels like family to you. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, my darlings. All right, I'm going to move this up here. <sighs> okay. One more. Okay. <laughs> that's like stop shuffling. <laughs> that's what that means. Okay. All right. That's a weird cut. So underneath here, four of pentacles. I feel like you're holding on to, holding on to some kind of belief about stability. Some belief of, woo, check that out. Lovers, chariot. Isn't that nice? Wow. Four of wands. Are you kidding me? King of Pentacles, Devil Energy. All right, we're going to get into that a little bit here. Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles. Are you serious? This is a, this is a, a moving up a level. We're moving up a level here. So I want a couple things here. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. That's baggage from the past. Devil Energy here. That's Capricorn Energy. Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, just judgment. Okay, so this past here, it does feel like there's baggage with this person, or this person is from a pat from a past, from the past. Okay, this person can be. Um, I see Gemini. I see Cancer. I see Capricorn. I see Aries. I see Sag. I see London, I see France. I really do think that this person is an opportunity for um, real commitment, an opportunity to get engaged here. This, you, okay, so for sure, you already know this person. If this reading is for you, this is a somebody already in your life, okay? This is somebody already here. You already are in love with them. There's something here that needs to be worked out this devil energy, this person, uh, I feel like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I feel like this person might need to grow up a little bit. They are resisting the connection because of passion. Maybe there's not enough passion in this. You could have been holding back passion or the relationship as it exists right now is not passionate enough in this person's view. This person wants more sex. They want more passion. And they're willing to make that real. King of Pentacles. Person is very stable, but they're really all about money. They could be really all about money and they're all they're all about just like 
these passions they have. Okay, so they could be resisting the relationship because of passions of theirs, that they're wanting to go forth and do something that's, you know, out in the world, out there in a big way. They want to be famous. They want to be somebody big. This could be a Leo you're dealing with. Okay, and they're, they're, um, they're feeling like this relationship may tie them down. That could be you because you're definitely holding back here. So if this person is wanting to move you forward, but you're like, wait a second, I got other stuff to do. I feel like I have other stuff to do. Other things that need, need doing. Okay, I don't feel like, let's see here. Um, it's true intentions of this other person. True intentions of this other person. Ace of Cups. Hermit, they know themselves. Queen of Swords, they're clear. This is a very nurturing individual, okay? Um, one of you really wants home and hearth, okay? One of you really wants that. I feel like that could be the, the rub here. This person might want to be out in the world more. I feel like you could want, you're very much more interested in this um, kind of, you know, by the book thing that... You know, we're going to, we, we've been together for a year. You might've been together with this person. For, <laughs> there you go for a year. And they're, they definitely are wanting to, they definitely are clear about their feelings. They've been, there is love here. They know it. Okay. They know it. That's fine with them. I just feel there's so much resistance here. Why is there so much resistance? King of Cups, Star, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There's something about their work that they're not wanting to settle down yet. That feels very oppressive to them. Um, they're really wanting, I mean, they could be uh, like a corporate person. Doesn't mean that they're a star. They could be a star within their industry. This person is somebody very um, tied to money and fame and like I said, could be Leo energy. This is what they truly love and want in their life. I do feel like this is a really good energy here, but the their passion in their life is really about their work. So there might not be as much passion here in this relationship. It's very stable. Um, you guys make a very stable life together. I don't feel like you're going to get a lot of attention from this person. They're not going to build their life around you. They're not going to build you know, this situation around you. Um, the trade-off is this is very stable and there is a lot of money that can come from this relationship or a lot of stability that comes from this relationship. But in terms of passion, their passion is making money. Their passion is being a star in their industry, whatever it is, industry, you know, they could be, they could be somebody who is um, literally on stage. Okay. Cause I'm seeing Hierophant and the devil card. This is you know, we're up on stage and other people are, are looking at us. Other people are below us. They have an ego. This person has an ego, big ego. And, you know, that's okay. <laughs> but I, if it's what you're looking for, that's fine. I, this person is telling you the truth about things. They really want to, you could consider this support of their um, activities, wanting to be out in the world and making a lot of money. You could be like, cool, I'll take care of the house. I'll take care of the kids. I'll be the one that does that part. And that you're clear about that. You're clear about what you want. Um, let's see here. I want to get a sense of feelings because they, they have looked at Ace of Cups here, but give me more about that. Magician, Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands. This person is a loner. Okay, this person is a someone who manifests a lot of money in their life, a lot of career success in their life. And you may see them as like this amazing, wow, what a catch kind of person. Um, I don't feel like you'll be happy um, necessarily with how it shakes out though. You know, yes, is it by the book? Is it like a traditional relationship? You betcha, okay, you betcha. And I do feel like um, you've been with this person for a year. 
there's a very now there's some pressure in you know ace of pentacles ace of swords ace of cups there's some real pressure here about getting engaged or something like that this is very traditional this is super 1950s is what i'm seeing here okay not that there, I, hey that whatever floats your boat you know what i'm saying but if you're wanting this person to be more passionate with you wanting to have you be the centerpiece of their life i feel like they're resistant to that the the ego that they have really resists that kind of experience for them they feel like they're the star okay they could be an aquarius um a capricorn taurus there's your card taurus a gemini cancer i see a lot of signs here okay i see a sag and an aries here too very powerful aries is in virgo very first house it's all about me magician it's all about what i'm doing in the world um if this is you taurus you're being the one who's resistant to a traditional marriage you want to be out there in the public i don't feel like that's you i feel like that's this other person fire sign fire energy someone who's a lot about money right very much a victory you know victory i must win i'm you know a corporate raider i'm a ceo i'm a you know that's who this person is and i feel like that even though it has you know this is like an 85 percent or kind of thing like where are you on this scale of this person must fit by the book must fit what i'm looking for sorry about that um, this person must fit what I'm looking for. Where are you on that scale? Because I feel like they pay way more attention to their money and to their work, okay, and to their fame than they will to a marriage or a parenting or anything like that. They're a magician, okay? So I'm going to see where this goes. I want to know what, if anything, you can do about this because I do feel like there's a lot of love here. I feel like this is going toward a stable relationship, but I see the nine of wands and the four of pentacles over here. You might be holding back your opinions about this. What, if anything, can you do? Let's see how this shakes out. Let's see where we're going here. Okay. So Taurus link is below for you. This is holiday love. I'll see you on the other side.